another video of the Harry Oatboard. First in this episode is going to be against New Porter who played a 542. Can I come against? It's a 5 back. Let me play 3 back. Camera lens trained on one man. What a fabulous start to the season for him. Does he have more goals in his future? Stay with us. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. Lee, this should be magnificent. Excited, Derek. Really looking forward to this game. Come on, bring it on. The oh, pass could do damage. Oh. Just needs to stay calm. No, Takes aim. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. He just missed that. He just missed that. He's now a goal kick. News of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Stevenage. Ten minutes played, 1 0. In position to give them the lead, maybe. He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Lee. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, I expect goals, Derek. The form he's in, you expect goals every time you see him. You'd hope that back line had been studying the tapes, but most of the teams this season haven't worked him out. Oh, good idea, but overcooked. Unfortunately, we had to cut Alan McAnally short just then. To confirm for you, the home side were able to find the back of the net, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Carlisle United. 20 minutes played, 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. There to take it away. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Let's make it one nil for game. The opening goal of the game, then. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Chance to finish. And a goal. And they've turned this game on its head. It's going their way. 2 0. Over the touchline for a throw in. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who's it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Morecambe. 30 minutes played. 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them, and with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. And the cross is very much on. He continues his run. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, off the post. Still alive. Well, you can't come much closer to scoring than that. Can they be creative from here? The cross is on. So now a corner. Where just win it, Sweden? Over it comes. Foiling them effectively. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. They take it short. That's someone to play it to. And there is the goal. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That's 
scoreline tells you all you need to know. Ooh, my throat is clear though. So that's cool. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. So there goes the half time whistle. Okay. It is an acceptable scoreline. So half time 3 0. Going to the break. Exhausted. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Come on. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Exeter City. 49 minutes, please. 1 0. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Tremendously strong in the tackle. He's helped it. Heart again. And a chance for him on the flank. It needs an accurate cross. Really nice ball. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Liam Cullen. Please meet your wife at the ticket office. Thank you. Opportunity. It's opening up for them. Sheehan. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for the visitors. 59 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Oh, lovely ball. It has to be. Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. You can't really say defences are on top. 3 2. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. Really getting stuck in. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. The hosts have really controlled possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Good looking pass. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. So a personnel change then. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a second goal for Morecambe. 73 minutes played, 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Liam Cullen. Well, it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Bodies forward, Three and the break though. looks on. An alert intervention. Nicely timed tackle. Chance to cross. He's played it over to the near post. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross, and he gets up well, and it's just wide. How are you even that header? Are you? Well, there's a saying in football, Derek, that you always get one more chance. They need that chance right now. The fans feel it might be coming too. Nah. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And a fine cross. And not again, oh. just a bit too high in the end. And five minutes to go. Liam Cullen. Well read to win possession back. Can they get in behind them? Oh, what an opportunity! 
goodness me, what an opportunity for the level early. Late, late, late in the game. They won't get a better chance than that. The well, the referee ball. has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Liam Cullen. That's free kick. Free and there it is, the full-time whistle That's here, and it's there. a victory for the visitors. The journey home. Sure, so. Good start. Very good start. A win. Sorry. Just watch it away, but whatever. Fine. So let's go easy then. Uh, so the second year, so he is no trophy. Fine. Two. Against Colchester. So hopefully we can beat him to third for round three. Alright, so. We simply them. have to focus on this man. In terrific form and top scorer in the competition. Stay with us on EA TV as he tries for more. Good evening and oh, welcome sorry. on a wintry night here. Snow is very much the weather theme. Thanks. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined awesome. for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And there's nothing quite like the magic of a cup competition. Live action coming up for you. This ought to be a thriller, Lee. Yes, Derek, a break for him. Can he give them the lead? Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. We take it short. That's a useful cross. A decisive clearance it was. Firing it towards goal. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Interesting pass. Interception to snuff out the danger. Just can't get it. Just can't get it there. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he'll do well to beat his previous hat trick, but the form he's in. Will he find the net? And a goal! <laughs> One nil it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! 1-0 then. Diaz right. It has gone over the touchline for what'll be a throw-in. Smith, unable to keep the ball. He's in behind. He's got to score. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, a second goal for them here. Real danger. And he's in. Could be. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Good looking sequence. No real threat, you've got to say. Smith. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Hutchinson. Looks promising, this. Wonderful chance. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. So there we have it, 2-1. And the 
emphasis is on creativity. Looks as though he's alone in the centre. High degree oh, of difficulty yeah. to hit it on the volley like that, it's and it was close. Wide. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Brown. Hutchinson. Oh. And a throw in forthcoming. Something can he put it away? And the pass getting in the way. Of course, he has. This is a good player. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. There. There we go. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And intercepts again. Intercepted. Pass. Oh, great vision. This could square the game. And still danger here. Well, they can keep possession now. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Can he give them the lead? Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Diaz right. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Smith. Well, he's lost it. Moving forward effectively. Rip and a chance to level it. Rifled against the post, but back in play. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Wow, he's simply the difference between these two sides. All the eyes will be on him for this second half. Can he get the hat trick? Well, nothing comes of it. Power. Useful looking position, you've got to say. A good and fair challenge. Uh, Harriet. Oh, yeah. showing excellent yeah. judgment to intercept. Oh, Hutchinson. Yeah. Excellent block. Another perfect position to read it. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Is it going to be? And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. So a personnel change then. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Eastman. Brown. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, let's see about the cross. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Smith. Liam Cullen. And a bad pass it was. Frank Nuble. Real danger. The defender doing his job. He's driven in the corner. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. The corner kicks keep on coming. Going short. Senior. Okay. 
could reduce the deficit. Well read to ease the pressure. Not, Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Mm. And slipped through beautifully. In position. Surely top notch defending, but the chance still there. And offside, unfortunately. Here it is now, a substitution. And only two minutes remaining here. What was that? Perfectly positioned to take it away. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. There's a slide rule pass. And it all counts for naught. Keeper's ball every day of the oh. week. There's the final whistle. Three on one and the third to rank three of the ESL trophy. Alright, third and final game of the episode is going to be a team that's Forest Green. Hopefully win. And win against. So yeah, win. One, one row. Didn't do that there. Oh, it's fine. Whatever. Make a save. Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon, and very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. This should be high intensity stuff, Lee. Thanks Derek, well both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here. Attack the game from the off, impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. Oh, no. oh, what's he gone and done? Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. And he's in. Oh. It has to be, surely. Oh, we have yeah. just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. Evans. That. That Adams. More Taylor. Yeah. And as you can ball. see, our hosts know a thing or two about scoring goals. In fact, Lee, they have the most potent attack in the league. Yeah. Yes, Derek, in front of goal, they seem to be faultless. Superb creative element to this yeah, team. And they might be yeah. through here. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Yeah. It's a weighted pass. Can he convert? He must finish. And still an opportunity. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Elliot Whitehouse. Bailey. Adams. Davison. Strength and control, a big part of his game. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Big chance. Superb stop. <laughs> well, opting for the short corner. And there it is, the breakthrough. That Stokes. will do nicely. Goal for the visitors. One nil then. Chris Stokes. Okay. Liam Cullen. No, not the best challenge. Wilson. Already closing him down here. Very good well timed tackle. tackle. Well, they get themselves level here. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. 
Working brilliantly as a team to force the clearance. It will be a throw. Could cross it in here. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? So, a level contest. 1-1. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Mm -hmm. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for the visitors. 37 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Many thanks, Alan. We can get... And he's broken free. Takes aim. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals. Succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. However, after that, the Hello. coach will be disappointed Hello. with what they've produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Untidy on the ball. Well, the electronic oh, board boy. showing one additional minute. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Yeah, yeah. And there it is, the half-time whistle. No doubt about it, the home fan. That's very nice. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Wilson. Davison. Adams. Yeah. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Can he get them level? Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. And he takes on the shot. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Power. And that was a very fine read. Making progress. This could be the equalizer. And it is the equalizer. Well, now that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. What was that pause? Okay. And a throw in forthcoming. And they're making a change. Adams. Elliot Whitehouse. Wait, wow. A reminder the food stands Bailey. will be open after the game if you'd like to get yourself Bailey. some post match snacks. Collins has it. Makes the Bailey. move to the inside. Excellent passing. Good looking ball. That's a routine take. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Firing it towards goal. Able to close down the shot. Not problematic for the keeper. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Bradford City. 64 minutes played, 3-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Come on. Bailey. Matt on the ball. Come on, Davison. Well, is it going to end up being productive yeah. for them? Very right, house. And a tidy yeah. challenge. Okay, okay. And Sokingham has giving the ball away. Oh, Bailey. Okay. There to take it away. And it's a matter of what and occurs power. in the final 15 minutes. And the cross is very much on. Can he finish? And That's a goal! 
advantage. Just look at the celebrations. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Stokes. All right. Elliot Whitehouse. Bailey. Collins has it. Adams. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for Crawley Town. Seven minutes remain. 1 0. Cheers again, Alan. And teammates to play it to. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front, and these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. An inability Ooh, to keep hold of the ball stop, there. So. That gets the ball. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Running with the ball confidently. And the pressure is on. Can he clear it away? Well, nicely cut out. Power on the ball. So, that was it. And there Four, it is, the final goals, whistle, three, three and it's wins. a victory for the home side. I'm not going to for today's episode of the Harry Road Glory. It has to be, surely. He had just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it. And see you guys. Bye.